So over the next few episodes, we're going to try and focus on building more practical um, machines for the house. A couple of years ago, I built a tea machine, which did work. However, it was not practical because there was a few problems with the uh, pump and the hot water system. So I'm going to focus on making a rig which will stir and dispense sugar. And we'll put it in the kitchen, see if it gets used. I've actually taken apart the tea machine ever since and salvaged a few parts. One being the uh, dispenser and the stirrer. So we'll just... Uh, go through the operation of those, clean them up, and set them up for the new machine. So this is a stirrer, and that motor drives a little prop. And there's another motor which moves the stirrer up and down. Now to control how far it will go up and down, I'll just use some limit switches on either side. And just to show you some more detail, there's just a rack and pinion arrangement. And for the sugar dispenser, just a tube with a servo and a door and when that swings open sugar's released and then swing it close again. Obviously both of these have been tested on the tea machine so then just have to take it, recycle them, just tidy up the pieces and put in a new machine. Okay so I've got the different components of the board marked out, I'll cut them tomorrow morning. Just to give you an idea of how this is going to work, so these are the largest mug I could find. The stir will be somewhere here, angled out like this. And then there's the sugar dispenser. I'll have a little slide under it so it directs all the sugar into the mug itself. And I'm going to leave just enough room for a control panel and um, electronics and circuitry. Okay, so we have the main pieces of the board cut out. Here you have the backboard, side panels, and the top and then the bottom base. I'll uh, go ahead and glue these together and secure them and then we'll start um, placing the other parts inside. Okay, so I hope this gives you some perspective. We've still got the baseboard to go, but here's what the arranger could look like dispenser, stirrer, and the mug will sit somewhere here of course when it's standing up and then just some room for electronics. Once the glue is dried I'm going to reinforce it with some metal brackets. Okay so I have the uh, stirrer crudely set up here for demonstrations with the Arduino Mega. I have two limit switches. One limit switch will stop it from falling off the rails as it raises the stirrer and one of them will stop it from falling down as it lowers. And there's been lowered And there's a stirrer coming up. The uh, switching takes place at the Arduino Mega and there's a H-bridge here which controls the motor for raising and lowering the stirrer. So I've given the box just a quick sanding on the outside. Uh, at a later point I'll paint it. But for now we've got a rough location where I want the stirrer and the sugar dispenser. Based on this cabling length I'm going to put most of the micro... I'm going to put the microcontroller somewhere there. I'll need to set it up in such a way where I can get access and program it um, easily and I'll put the battery pack and button somewhere over here. So I've glued a bracket onto the stirrer and um, another one on the actual main box so I can use a screw. That way I can use a bolt and a nut to hold in rather than gluing it because I may want to take it apart, repair it and or remove it for recycling waiting for the glue to dry. I've mounted the stirrer using the bolt and butterfly nut and I've also mounted the Arduino board. Uh, from here I'm going to do the wiring to wire the rest of the micro switches and I've also got room for cabling and programming. And then from here I'll be placing the sugar dispenser right about there. And here's what it looks like. In the standing form. There's where the mug would sit. Alright, so now we have this little slide here and that's going to direct the sugar from the exit hole and that's going to direct the sugar from the exit hole down the slide into the mug. I think it's food safe, we'll see. 
Right, so put some sugar in the canister. We'll just switch it on and see what happens. Right, I'm not sure if you saw what happened, but it looks like the uh, servo bounced back and forth, releasing some sugar into the flap. So I might have to reprogram that so it doesn't do that. And I uh, forgot we need to actually connect this stirrer to the other channel of the H-bridge. Then we can actually start mixing some tea with sugar or something else. Okay, so working on a cover just to uh, be able to uh, protect the inner workings. It will be removable, of course, so you can see the insides of it. And then I'm putting a little control panel here for the switches. I've installed the brackets that's going to hold the front cover and then I'll install this cover slightly down the bottom and that's going to have the control switches. Alright, so the bulk is complete. I've got the control panel toggle switch temporarily fixed. Um, I've also secured the railings onto the main body. And I've also cut out this board which fits right at the top. Now it does look a little bit boring, I might consider cutting just a little bit out so you can see what's happening, otherwise this looks like a mystery box, but we'll see. So I will need to drill some sort of hole or create some sort of opening up here so that I can fill up the sugar canister. I'll be using a 22mm drill bit, I'm going to roughly eyeball. and we'll uh, now make a mess. And this hole will feed the canister. So I have decided to cut a little semicircle here so I can see the inner workings, or at least part thereof. There you go, just cut out a semicircle. I'm not sure if I made it worse or not, but anyway. At least I can see the moving parts, or some of it. That's uh, almost done. I don't think I have to open the panel up anymore. From here on it's just a bit of coding. Um, I'm able to slip the programming cable in through there, into the Arduino port, pretty easily. Almost complete. We have two buttons. This button determines the diet setting, so with sugar or with no sugar. And what it does is it actually disconnects the servo, which dispenses sugar. And there's a power switch, and there's just a light indicating that the actual system is on. Might go ahead and test it. Check that out, mixing really well. And of course I made a mess, there's sugar all over the base of the platform, but I don't care because now I've got something to mix the sugar for me. So my wife didn't like the idea that it was spilling sugar everywhere, so I had to make some technical modifications. So what I've done is I've raised the sugar dispenser and put a funnel underneath. So now, if I switch it on, see, very little mess. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.